Hey there, welcome back guys. Today we're going to be going over angle mode. That's right, for the new guys. If you're new to FPV and um, you just want to get started out, you probably want to fly in angle mode. Unfortunately, I don't have it around, but if you have the DJI Avada, DJI has not pushed angle mode to the Avada yet. Um, if you want to fly in acro mode, also known as manual mode, you have to put the drone, I'd say, as high up as you feel comfortable and then put it in, you know, press that whatever keys you have designated to um, put you into manual mode and then just take off from there. The problem with that is, is that things just go crazy. You know, you're kind of flying like the uh, uh, greatest American hero and it, it's, uh, it's uh, nerve wracking. Um, but with angle mode, also known as level mode inside of the simulator. And in the simulator, you have actually a few levels uh, um, inside the uh, simulator. I mean modes, you have level, and let me just uh, put this here. All right, so we have level, acro, which I mean, the experts fly that, and then you have 3D, and then you have horizon. So usually when you have your FPV drone, um, you have horizon, uh, level, which is also known as angle mode, and acro. Um, some guys say, hey, just put it in acro and learn that way, but not everyone is, um, is, uh, as you can see, I'll show you a little clip here with me in the Avada as you, um, one second. But hey, if you want to go this way, you can, you can do this way, you know, whatever way works best for you. There's no, um, you know, formula set in stone, like, oh, you got to practice this way or that way. You know, you move at your own steps and your own pace and your own comfort level. Um, and then once you're, uh, you know, you're flying like this in M mode, or as they say, manual mode, you're, you're good to go. And then maybe just, you'll, you, it'll take you longer, but you'll get there, as you can see. Um, you know, I'm a little bit nervous, as you can see. Whoa, I just nipped the ground right there, impact detected. And that's a similar move. That's why I'm a little bit afraid to fly lower to the ground. See, double impact. Okay, so anyway, you get the gist of it. So, in the simulator, when you have your, um, your uh, if you have this remote and set up in the simulator, um, hopefully it works. We see it recognizes it, it can see it. It usually doesn't work well on a hub. If you have a hub connected, it will disconnect, connect, disconnect, connect. But in this case, um, my throttle is disarmed, so now I can put up and down. And should, so, as you can see, oh wow, no, I'm not ready for that yet. Level. So, in level mode, it operates similar to that of a RC car, you know, that you would get um, from a store, and it just allows you to. Um, you know, just get the gist of it and feel of it, right? Without um, wrecking your drone. Without, you know, I, I don't know about you, but my first time in um, acro mode, I was based, I crashed the drone. But if DJI pushed level mode to the Avada, you know, with a 2024 update um, for the new year, um, you know, it would be just phenomenal um, if they did that. And, but not yet. So as you can see, anyone can fly in level mode, right? So I'll, ju I'll just do one lap if I can. It's been a while since I've done this. And you know, you want to spend as much time in the simulator as possible. The problem is, if you have the DJI Avada, right, um, you aren't going to be able to, whoops, start recording. You aren't going to be able to um, got a little glitch there. You aren't going to be able to fly in level mode. That's the only problem with the DJI Avada. So you can spend, I spent about 30 hours flying in level mode. Then when I get my Avada, I'm like, wait, what's wrong? It's broken. No, it's not broken. You know, you actually want to practice, start recording in level mode. I don't know why that keeps happening. It's so weird. Um, so here we are here, right? All right. So there we go. As you can see, um, so, you know, if that makes any sense, it's great practice. But if you buy an FPV drone, like a beta FPV, if you buy a, um, whatchamacallit, uh, yeah, beta, you know, just beta FPV, any drone that will allow you to fly inside of, uh, of course, that if, if this was the real world, I would have lost the drone already. But, oh, I think I missed one. I missed one. Where did it go? It's gone. Um, see, is, this is in level mode. Now, if I was in acro mode, forget about it. Um, 
it's down there somewhere. So I gotta go back and go around and down because I just can't. Ah, oh, there it is. See, and you can, in level mode, you can still do the turns and the flips like that. You know, you can still do that, which is great, um, but you just can't do the flips. So, you know, it's, it's, I just won't be able to do a flip. And it's good for a beginner. Now, the, uh, what's the name of the drone? Um, I'll show you. So it took two minutes to do that lap. As you can see, the other guys, they're like, you're taking too long. So we'll just pause it. Can I pause it? Um, no, I'll just do a reboot. Um, oops. We'll just leave the remote like that. Hold on. Leave it like that. Yeah, so when you have a drone like this, you will have level mode and they're also known as angle mode. So the way I was just flying inside of the um, simulator liftoff, you can still fly um, with this thing. So I'll show you how that works. Um, hold on one second. Looks like the battery's done. Um, I'm not gonna take off in here but I'll just show you the mode so if you if you have a get RC or beta FPV drone you will be able to fly in level mode also known as angle mode okay just want to shut that off all right so what happens is you put your battery in make sure it's the right battery because you could blow it up You've done that before um, new the new guy new guy move um, so hmm, interesting it must be to the battery battery connector all right so when I connect it right um, actually I don't want to connect it just yet you want to make sure your, your goggles are, are started and everything like that before you actually um, you know do all, all that and um, so that this is happening for you guys in real time Okay, so what I need to do is, I need to, um, oh, I don't need this. I don't need that cord. So many cords on the Accord. Um, so if you take your goggles, right? Remember, this is for the new guy. Um, so you put that in there and then you put this in here. Okay, and then if I, if all goes well, according to plan, my phone sees this as an accessory. Um, now if I, huh, interesting, cannot use accessory. Oh, probably because it's charging. So let that turn on. And then once that turns on, um, I believe we will use this one. This is already on, but that's connected to liftoff. So I'll have to disconnect this. And then hopefully we can it should connect. So it was looking for the Avada, but I gotta go to status, switch, and I'm gonna switch it to O3 air unit. That takes care of that. And now hope that work its magic and little connect and hopefully we can see it on the screen. Nice. There's our DJI. DJI fly. And go fly. So you see, there you go. Um, if you look on the... Oh, got to stop the beep. Which one is stop the beep? There we go. That, I forget which keys to stop the beep. Okay. So as you saw, I'm in angle mode right now. Look on the top uh, left-hand corner, see that? And angle, uh, which is also known as level mode. And then you have, hopefully it doesn't launch, horizon, okay? And then you have acro. So those are the three modes you're gonna have inside there. Unfortunately, the Avada does not have angle mode. And as you can see, it's so much easier to fly in angle mode. Now, can you imagine flying the Avada in angle mode and then doing this or that, right? But unfortunately, it's not there yet. And then why? I don't know, you know. So, you, you know, you have to have a drone uh, 
you know, like the one we just see here in the uh, thing. So now let's try, hold on one second. Let's press escape, I believe. That's the only downside to, uh, I guess we can just quit screen mirroring. All right, so now let's go here. Whoops, uh, stop mirroring. So now let's see if we can fly the drone in acro mode, maybe. I usually have to fly um, 20 minutes or 15 minutes in angle mode or level mode before I can actually go into horizon mode. Okay, so let's see. This is connected. Got a reboot. R, R restarts it. There we go. And now let's see, I'm gonna be in level mode, right? So level mode just gives you that that slow pace that you need before you actually, um, whoops, go into little acrobats. And you know, it works, it works. It, obviously they invented it. So there's a reason why it's there for people like me. Um, you know, some folks might frown upon it, but you know what? Um, someone wrote it into the code. So um, obviously it's there for a purpose. And so now I'm gonna wait until I get past the other area into the open spot. And then I'm gonna put it into um, maybe Acro. Let's we'll see Acro, because Acro would probably be equivalent to the Avada. Um, whoops, smack. Um, you know, the little turn over there. And then once I get out in the open, I will um, see if I can, yeah, right about in here. And remember, race is good because it gives you those little time uh, um, thingies, whatever they're called. All right. So now, I'm in here, I'm out in the open, and I'm ready. Whoops, whoops, horizon, level, acro. All right, there's acro. Acro is just so sensitive. It's like space. There's no up, down, left. You just have to really turn back. All right, let's see. It's just different. And if you could start the Avada in the sky, and um, whoops, and you see, it's just like, if you could start the Avada in level mode and then see, I, yeah, then go. So I like to go really high up in the air and then, and then it's like, it's broken. I, I literally thought it was broken when I first was flying in acro mode. I was like, this isn't working. You guys got to take it back. And you know, you, you'll get there, but the trick with acro mode is that you gotta start really high up. I've seen some guys just start from the ground in acro. Um, so yeah, this is, see I'm doing it. It's getting there. But it, it takes me a while to adjust. So, the, so now that's why I wish and I hope that DJI will throw in level mode or angle mode, whatever you wanna call it. Um, start recording. Start recording in the um, 2024 update. See? See, this is really tricky. What? See, I don't know. I could just get that. Now, if I was matching me in the park, <laughs> who is that guy? Lewis is coming. There we go. Yeah, so that gives you a gist of it. I still need to put more time and hours into um, acro mode, but I have, I'm really comfortable flying in level mode, and that's what I fly these drones in. This uh, here, but in an open field, so I can fly them, but I just can't fly them in acro. So, on that note, um, I hope that this video helped you in better understanding what angle mode or level mode is. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.